Hi, we're the Jump Shadow Collective, a group that promotes the perspectives of young designers. My name is Jennifer Heiser, and I'm leading our project from Queens, New York. We've created an interactive instrument titled Chime. Installation works are important to the field of architecture because they are experimental zones for research. You can attempt novel methods of construction or assess unique human interactions. They also provide the opportunity to participate in the current dialogue, acting as time-specific pieces. Therefore, installations expand the realm of architecture in a radical and proactive capacity. Nonetheless, Chime was designed for this time and place, and New Orleans is an interesting setting because of its rich and tragic past. The city has always been a unique cultural place, and as it is my hometown, I wanted to be involved in its cultural redevelopment. We believe that part of that process would involve creation and participation. Our installation Chime compels participants to create musical compositions. However, the idea is not just to create music, but, but to chime, to announce your presence. We wanted to encourage the user to play not just the instrument, but as a means of amusement and self-assertion. Chime upgrades one of the oldest instruments, the wind chime. They were originally used to scare away supernatural influences. They were also used to predict weather changes to forecast warnings for protection. Now, the original wind chimes were man-made instruments that nature would play. The contemporary chime presents a different structure in that man composes nature to play the device. Our installation is comprised of hundreds of glass cylinders and provides mechanical fans for participants to arrange the direction, speed, and oscillation of their original wind pattern. It's a low-tech installation, and it's created from discarded beer bottles. We believe that especially in a place like New Orleans, that is miles of waste, we had to choose materials that would not just add to those landfills. The overall concept of Chime interacts with the dichotomy of nature and humanity. Air currents, for example, are both productive and destructive, and mankind behaves similarly. The installation will create music, but the participant must also permanently alter the instrument in order to create anything. Indeed, creation comes from destruction. Relevant to the post-Katrina population, the project questions what should be cherished and protected and what can be left vulnerable. We wanted to take part in this year's desk course event because it provides a rich context that has historically produced novel forms of expression. Chime resides in an unoccupied building that generally only sees roosting pigeons. However, the site has an incredible history that many refer to as the delivery room of jazz music. The Eagle Saloon of South Rampart welcomed legends like Louis Armstrong, Buddy Holden, and Jelly Roll Morton. We hope that our installation continues to create vibrations that the walls take hold of, storing for the next generation. The next stop on your tour is number 5, Sakad Base Display, by Junji Watanabe. The installation is located at 200, Carondelet Street. Walk towards the river along Perdido Street, three blocks, to Carondelet Street. Make a left. Walk another three blocks. You'll find site number 5, Sakad Base Display, a block down, at the corner of Carondelet and Common Street. It's located in an old bank building.